Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to Statesman.com and the High School Blitz. I'm Tony Atkins here with Danny Davis and Rick Cantu. We're going to give out some game balls. Start out, uh, who are you going to give your game ball to? I'm giving my game ball to Joel Johnson, a name that we haven't mentioned before. He's a wide receiver from Burnett. All he did was catch 10 balls for 283 yards. It's, even I can do the math. 28.3 yards. <laughs> a cup catch. Three touchdowns. You don't get much better than that. Um, we're going to burn it a little far away from here. I've made that drive a few times, but I'm, my game ball is going to go over to Reagan High School. Um, Mo Bakari is a junior running back over there. Uh, they played on Thursday night this past week against Travis. I know I picked Travis. I think most people picked Travis to win that game, but uh, Moba did not pick Travis, and he rushed for 311 yards, six touchdowns. Uh, Reagan got the 54 to 40 win. Um, Keith, Co Coach Keith Carey has been there three years. Probably the biggest win they've had with uh, Coach Carey because it keeps them in playoff contention. They still have some work to do with McCallum, Cedar Creek, Crockett left on their schedule, but they're two and two in district play, and if they keep handing off the ball to number two, well, we're, we're going to see what happens. They may, they may be uh, playing in the postseason. Speaking of the postseason, we're getting really close to the postseason. What did you learn in week eight? What I learned is that the new king of the city of Georgetown is Eastview. They've only been a varsity team for three years, but they came off with probably the biggest win in school history, 45-42 over a very, very good Georgetown team. They've got the offensive weapons. Josh Covey has become one of the more heralded Central Texas quarterbacks. Apollos Hester, we've talked a lot about him at wide receiver. Caught 12 passes. And uh, Cornelio Garcia, 150 yards. 120 of them came after halftime. So good job for the coaches out there and uh, three years. And talking about playoffs, they'll be there. Um, I learned that Jeff Cheatham has a really good defense out there in Round Rock. Uh, Round Rock's allowing about 15.7 points per game this year. Hutto and LaGrange have better defensive numbers, but Round Rock has some stars in that defense. Brandon Mitchell, a defensive lineman. Mason Ramirez, a defensive back. They played Cedar Ridge this past weekend. One forty-nine to three. They gave a field goal on the first drive and just shut down Cedar Ridge after that. Uh, seven plays. Uh, for Cedar Ridge ran 62 plays. Only seven uh, plays exceeded 10 yards. Nine plays were stopped in the backfield. So that's a really good uh, percentage for them and Cedar Ridge joined Stony Point and Coppers Cove, uh, two other good offenses who had their worst performance against Round Rock. So throughout the season Round Rock's played really good on the defensive side of the football and you know, as we'll talk about later this week they're going to need it this week against Hendrickson. Alright that's what we learned this week. Keep checking back in at statesman.com for results and more.